imagine this world eight wrong warp like actually corrupts the memory on our cartridge which obviously isn't a thing but that would be weird wouldn't it big bock big big bork <laughs> smb3 any percent corruption category So you need to, like, be stocked in cartridges? It crashed because I didn't go for door three. Oh my god, Fuzzy. That's crazy, dude. Yo, Fuzzy, when are you going to start speedrunning SMB3, man? You certainly watch enough of it. This game is way too exhilarating. Although Ocarina of Time, 100%, I think is going to get very popular again. Well, I mean, it's already popular, but it's like... More people can always make it popular. Sticking to one game is frustrating to you? I can see that. But what about the Pokemon song about wanting to be the very best and stuff like that? It's really just the debate. Anytime a person gets a world record in the game, the fumes and fuel off of that are gone in like three days. And then nobody cares. For me, it's not the world record. It's, and I know this is going to sound lame, but it, it's legit the friends along the way. When I do Mario 3 grinds. It's the conversations we all have together, and it's all the jokes and shit that we come up with. That's what I like the most, is the actual grind. The world record, sure, whatever. The record was inside of us all along. Aww. You guys are corny. Like no one ever was. Beep, beep. Remember Smash Brothers Melee Adventure Mode WR attempts? And then you did event match world record attempts. Remember the good old days? I love, uh, I love and hate speedruns that have like anywhere between one and like. 0.5 time saves the entire speedrun until like the last split. God, those speedruns suck. I can save 0.2 here. That'll be nice. Yeah, Mario 1 is pretty much like that. So Stank Beef, what are you going to do for new jobs then? Why don't you damage boost that spike section in Fort 2 in 100%? Because I get to keep my Fire Flower throughout the entire thing. I start this world with my tail, not with my Fire Flower, right? 
And 100% I have my fire flower. And killing boom booms with fire flower is the fastest thing. Uh, Speedrunning is only and always about having fun. If you don't enjoy it, then you might be missing some of the points, right? Every speedrunner speedruns to have fun. It's when they realize that they can be competitive, which is a good thing. Healthy competition is good, and sports-like competition is very good. Some communities have very dirty history. Mario 3 has had dirty history, much like any other category. And uh, all of all of the dirty history and in, in communities for speedrunning, it all just comes from passion, man. People are just passionate about it. Right? Two people are fighting about a way a category should be done. It's because they both passionately look at it a certain way and want it to be that way. That's really all it is. Yeah, Mario 3's got some dirty history. Like, uh, Karu and I never saw eye to eye with each other, so we used to never get along. Ever. But in the spirit of Mario 3, we always came to a consensus. I just don't think we, uh, for a little, a little while during the early stages of Mario 3, we didn't really respect one another, I guess, is the right way of putting it. We didn't like each other. Now that we're much older, like, I've known Karu for a long time, and he's known me for a long time, and we've obviously watched each other grow into different people, and now it's fine, nobody gives a shit. Like, it's different now. But, in the early days, it was heated, right? It was heated, it was fresh, it was new, Mario 3, who's the best, who's the worst, how our category's gonna be. It all comes from passion. And every... Every game has that stuff happen to it. Cheaters. People who need to get banned. Uh, category changes. Route changes. Rule changes. Those always happen as time goes on. And it always divides the communities. Well, you still have to give some shits in life. You can't always not give a shit in life. People who never give a shit about anything give off this weird aura to other people. Some people run 100% with hammer suit strats, and some people are wrong. Uh, you don't want to do 100% with hammer suits. It's not really fast. Speedruns... World records scare you the most in speedruns? Because there's always competition, it ruins the fun. Yeah, but you have, you have both, right, JP? You do both. You have fun and competition. Right? Those are both fun. You have to, you have to take a step back and view it uh, from different angles. Competition is some of the best... Competition is the best thing for, like, mankind sometimes, I find. Because one person will push another person farther than they would ever push themselves. And then you'd break a limit. You'd break a limit and a boundary that you never once would never have achieved. Yeah, humans love comp because they make us grow. It's like a free way to become better. If Karua didn't beat my world records in Warpless and Mario 3, then I, my life would probably be a lot different. Like, if I didn't- if Mario 3 didn't have steady competition five years ago, then I probably would have got bored of Mario 3 because there was no competition and moved on with my life to do something else. So... It, you're not wrong, like, competition can ruin the fun for things. It's like- it's like when you're dating someone. Right? If you're dating someone and you're like, let's go play air hockey at the bar, let's have a drink and play some air hockey. 
and the person you're dating's like, all right, and they're fucking so into it. They have to beat you, and you're just like trying to have fun playing air hockey. That's when it's like, all right, all right, enough sweating. That's competition that I don't think is very fun or healthy. It's like, settle down. We're like on a date, okay? We're just playing some air hockey. What's a date? Oh my god, yes. What is a date? Let's look for the definition of a date. Alright, guys. What is love? Tell us about love. All right, go into the auto scroller this time, please. Mario's a flapping fish. Look at him. Uh, go watch my clips, Kyle. Kyle, cut. I have like a t three minute clip of it in my clips or in my um, highlights. Go, just go watch one of my highlights. I sh the trick is, is sh I saw the trick. What an asshole, man. You're watching the clip now, but from the future. Best place. Best place to watch it. Are you guys still talking about drugs? We left the drug talk a long time ago. Come on, man. Stay with the crowd. Don't get lost off the trail. Don't get stuck on one topic for too long. Use the buddy system. That's right. I remember when I was in grade school, we had to do the buddy system only for a little bit. It's almost like the teachers stopped caring too. Some kid goes missing, we all buddy system for like three months and then no teachers enforce it anymore. It's weird. I don't remember doing the buddy system that much in school. I also remember in the fourth grade, we had a splitting classroom of another fourth grade classroom. So it was like, we had our own classroom. And there was like a divider that like attached to the wall and on the other side was another classroom. And not in our class, but in the other class, there was a kid who was deathly allergic to peanut butter. So everyone in our class and the other class, we all had to bring toothbrushes and toothpaste to school and brush our teeth after lunchtime, whether you ate peanut butter or not, or peanuts. We all had to brush our teeth for the entire year. Well, some people who are deathly allergic to peanuts, the like, 
I don't want to say vapor. I don't know if that's the right word. But if you have, like, peanuts on your teeth and you, like, breathe on them or something, can't they still get sick? I don't even know. I don't know. I have no idea, guys. I'm not around oils. Sure, yeah. Not peanut breath. I don't, I don't know, guys. I just did what I was told. Yeah, brushing your teeth is a good habit anyways, okay? So that's not actually time loss right there, guys. I get to save my time back. I have got peanut breath, yes. Laugh it up, guys. Oh, Gino, that one's so spooky! Gino, we gotta get spooky sounds, though. Not n not Mario, though. Scary. Some really scary sounds. Like some screaming... I wanna get, like, a Halloween filter on my stream so it looks a little darker, right? A little more spooky. You guys should all be watching my streams in the dark. Way too afraid to watch in the dark. I'm not that ugly, okay? Some people, I tell you. You guys remember that episode in Seinfeld? Where he's dating a girl where, like, in the light, she's pretty, but in the dark, she's, like, ugly? What a weird story to an episode. You're afraid to talk to a girl? Girls are pretty intimidating, man. Girls can be pretty scary sometimes. You never know what they're gonna say. But I'm pretty sure the same thing applies to men as well. I do speedruns for fun and competition. Like I said earlier, if you're not having fun speedrunning, you're not gonna get very far and you're probably gonna give up. Competition is important for speedrunning for progression, but speedrunning is a very personal thing. Very personal. It's what you want to accomplish and that's, should all, that's all that matters, is what you think that you can accomplish with this game. And if you're having fun, it's all that matters. get social anxiety I get that there's there's one bit of advice that I've always told people to uh, ease some of the anxiety of talking to people and that's the anxiety mostly stems from making a fool of yourself right saying something dumb embarrassing yourself or getting heavily rejected and you not being able to uh, you know it'll be hard for you to gain that confidence back after getting rejected however there is one little thing that you can do, and that's you picture yourself anytime anyone, anytime any stranger has ever talked to you, Taru, or Terror. Have you ever just turned around and been like snarky or mean to them? Most likely the answer is no, right? So if you go and talk to a girl and they do that, they do your worst fear, you don't want to talk to them anyways. I'd never talk to you, Terror, if you were mean to me. If I just was a stranger and was like, hey, how's it going? And you were like, fuck off. I'd have been like, good, I don't want to talk to you anyways. I don't want to 
date or be with anyone who's naturally mean like that. That's horrible. Right? So have no fear. Most of the time, it's not going to be the way you think it is. More People are way more polite than that, and if they're not, you don't want to be around those people anyways. You don't want to. Yeah, you just got to picture yourself. Anytime a stranger has ever talked to you in your life, have you ever been mean to them? Probably not. So the odds of a girl, the girl might be a little standoffish, you know, girls aren't guys and vice versa, you know, so it's a little different, but, yeah. And what comes of that is also self-respect as well. Don't put up with that. Yeah. So you're alright. It is much harder to do than what I just said. It's not like me saying that just like fixes all the problems. I don't want to talk to you, bitch! What up? Oh, I just dropped that on my golden ticket. Ow. Oh. You know when you get hit in the ball and you're like, you feel kind of nauseous? Oh, that's what I have right now. Why do the balls activate nauseous when you get hit? Uh, I dropped the controller right on left testy. Poor guy. Poor guy. It's the guaranteed protection. I saved 34 seconds in World 4 because I skipped the level that I didn't in my PB. And I lost 35 seconds in World 3 because I had to do a level that I would skip it, you know? I just did the opposite- I just did the opposite thing in World 3 and World 4, that's all. Nothing changed. Oh, don't you worry, I won't be doing that again. Poor guys. Just trying to, you know, do the thing. There we go. We're back in action. I just wasn't pushing my P-Speed hard enough. I was doing it correctly the whole time. I am still ahead, yes. And if this Hammer Brother moves up, we're, in, we're golden. Alright, I'm still safe though. So hopefully this Hammer Brother moves down. That'll be Clutch City. Mm -mm, welcome to Clutch City. P-Speed is stored in the balls. Power balls. Very nice, World 5. I have the current world record right now. Thank you for the gift sub. 
Nothing happened 100% runs. We're still doing them. It's just this is super hot right now. This category is super hot right now. That's the hammer right there. Doo -doo 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 Yo, what's up, Maru? How you doing, man? How many Red Bulls do I drink a day? Uh, just one. Just one. And I don't have it until way later after I get up. Come on, baby! Don't fuck me! Face right! Face right! Oh, yeah. If that was Haxer, he would probably would've got fucked over. and squares. Thank you for the two months. Hello. How are you doing today? Deep, 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 deep. This category is so hot because it's got some interesting stuff in it. It's a brand new route change, which in Mario 3 is extremely rare. Extremely rare. Come on, man. Fuck off. When was the last time all forts changed? Uh, last year when I started running it as well, we almost were able to change it uh, by playing on the Japanese version. I did a lot of testing and uh, we weren't able to pull it off, or at least I wasn't. All Forts has never had the community popularity in it, whereas a couple people tried routing some things. Uh, most of the information actually ended up being wrong at this point. Like uh, two years ago, two or three years ago, Kujo tried routing this out and he made a mistake by what levels in World 4 were faster and slower. Um, which kind of sucked. It kind of like screwed over current runners at the time. But it's okay. It was only about like a second. It wasn't anything big. Um, the glitched warp whistle and understanding how that worked for RTA runners was a viable thing that I was going to use and play with. But it turned out I couldn't really do anything with it. Uh, this was like two years ago or so. Um, so... Anyone in chat who says Red Bull is super bad for you and you shouldn't, just, just don't, guys. It's not, if it's a joke, it's not funny. If it's not a joke, you don't know what you're talking about. There's no point in just bashing something that clearly I'm, you know, invested in. I'm a part of it. It's not going to work in my stream. Uh, no, because any percent, no wrong warp, right? That's the name of the category now because of any percent. If I had four Red Bulls a day, it would be bad for me. But if I had, you know, four beers a day too, four beers every single day, that, I think that would also be pretty bad for me too. If I had four hamburgers a day, that'd be pretty bad for me. If I looked my eyes into the sun four times a day, I think that'd be pretty bad for me as well.
Uh, you can put the Hammer Brothers to sleep in 100%. We do, we, we do it. Ah! 11, where did I lo lose 11.8 seconds? Yeah, you can only put the Hammer Brothers to sleep in 100% for strategic map movement, nothing else. Yo, 8 months with Prime, welcome back. I know the wall jump took me 5 tries, but I didn't think that would cost me 11 seconds. Price was wrong, Bobby. I guess so. was a bad movement before 6.5. Movement of 4. I lost 1.5 seconds there. Lost 1.5 potential time, obviously. Any new developments from yesterday? Uh, I played 100% yesterday. I didn't. I didn't work on this category yesterday. I don't know if any tassers are working on a way to put clouds in my inventory so that when I go to World Eight, I can skip eight one and eight two. There's only four items I haven't been able to get to spawn in my inventory, and that's anchor. Cloud, Flute, and Tanuki Suit. No Halloween costume ideas yet. We were going to go to the Halloween store today, but we went to the Pets Co. to look for cat number three, and then realized I had to get, I had to get home and stream. Uh, Kaylee had to go to the dentist today and do some caps and stuff like that. And then the dentist's office had a power outage, but we didn't want to leave because we wanted to get it done today, so we waited like half an hour, and then the power came back on, so that was my afternoon. Yes, we're looking for kitty number three. Uh, stop number one has been unsuccessful, so stop number two will probably be tomorrow. It's really important that when you buy an animal, you don't impulse buy. It's unfair to the animal, and... I don't know, some other things. Stop, man, you fuck off. God, it's all because my down input didn't work. Uh, I'm doing this just to be safe. I want to make sure I'm safe. It took it took us eight tries uh, to get to find Sim. Nothing happened to a hundred. Why do you think something happened to a hundred percent?
Uh, I will probably wear a costume for Halloween stream, yes. Most likely. I can't remember if I did last year. Or, no, I didn't. Did I last year? I can't remember. I was at MMC last year and I dressed up as Toad, so yes. Yes, I did. Stupid. Let's go. Are you the only one who doesn't get- No, no. Lots of people don't understand what's going on. when you try and take damage on that stupid turtle. It's so annoying. It's so, so annoying. I split really late on this split, so it's gonna come off as like a... I just gotta get no hands, or I can get one hand, guys. I also didn't screw up my inventory either, which doesn't matter because I don't have any inventory. This one does not have random items. You'd know if, the, if it messed up if my card. I also am gonna save a bit of time because I had to get a one up on my card last time. At this time, I don't. Yeah, I'm not generating a bunch of lag right now, either. It's gonna be no hands or three? That's the same percentage, you son of a bitch. Yeah, there was a lot of lag right here last time. 50-50 for each hand, and there's three hands, so 12.5. This route makes World 8 so much more bearable. <laughs> right? You don't have to do auto-scroller, 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 hands, auto-scroller. Thank God. I was here. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube.
was so close. I almost bought the waffle, I know. That was so close. Oh, I thought it crashed there. I was like, no way that just crashed. It sounded like it. Almost a minute, man. Almost a minute. Dude, that was good, man. That was a good time. No hands, too. Pogasaurus Rex right there. Fuck yeah. I'm happy about that one. My World 3 was really bad. My World 7 was also questionable. Oh, that's a good run. Oh. <laughs> 